Go. There you go. They shake hands. It's a sign of respect from both wrestlers. Very rarely do you get to see that in the ring. We're going to find out who is the best cruiserweight. And there you see Flatline gets the shot in. Torasaki hits it back. Looks like Torasaki is challenging Flatline. And nice maneuver by the Flatline. Torasaki. There's a kick by Flatline. Another shot. Two, three shots. And out of the ring already goes Torasaki. Don't forget, the only way to win is to climb that ladder and take the title that's hanging above the ring. Torasaki quickly gets back into the ring. Flatline didn't make no attempt for that ladder. And Torasaki throws Flatline out of the ring. Whoa. Flatline's getting upset. He threw a chair. It's very rare to see Flatline throw a chair. And Torsaki set the ladder up and he's climbing it. Flatline comes in and he power bombs Torsaki off of that ladder. Flatline with a shot. Torsaki's down. Now Flatline's setting the ladder up. He's going to climb it. Uh oh. Pow! Power bombed them off of that ladder, and the ladder almost came down on top of the flat line. And there you see Torasaki working on the leg of the flat line. I guess that'll be his game plan. If you work on the leg, he's not going to be able to climb that ladder. He's got the ladder on top of it. Splashes it. Oh. He could try to take that ankle home with him, break it. He did it again. Now what is look at this. He's pushing the ladder into the ankles of the flat line. It's hard to fight if you can't walk. He's leaning the ladder on the uh, corner post there. Flatline is fighting whatever Torasaki is doing. Push Torasaki into the ladder. And now Flatline whips Torasaki into that ladder again. That's a steel ladder. There is no give on that. And there's a kick. Man almighty. And look at this. Nice maneuver by the Flatline. Now he's giving some punches. He's going for a cover. You can't win. That was by instinct on Flatline. The wrestlers always know to go for a cover to make the win. So they just naturally do that. In this match, that's not going to count. Flatline moves out of the way and bam, kicks him right in the chest. And there's a shot by the flatline. There's a DDT. There goes flatline going for the cover again. There is no cover in this match. You must climb the ladder. Now he's putting Torasaki in some kind of a maneuver. Like I said, it's instinct. These guys just go for the cover because that's what they usually do to win. But in this match, you got to climb that ladder and grab the title. Torasaki with a reversal but missed and he gets a boot right in the jaw. Both of these guys are not going to be the same when this is over. Flatline's grabbing the chair. What is Flatline planning on doing with that chair? That's going to be the question. Anything goes, you're allowed to use that chair. He just drills Torasaki with the chair in the back. Now he's got the ladder. He's setting it up. 
I don't know if Torosaki's going to get up in time, but it looks like Flatline is about to go up that ladder. I thought that's why he was setting it up for, but apparently not. Maybe he thinks that Torosaki's not down enough. Ooh, right in the face. Flatline's climbing. He could win this. Torosaki's not going to get up. No, he didn't even grab it. He splashes him off the ladder. What a maneuver by Flatline. I don't know if that was a smart maneuver by Flatline. He injured himself as well. He had a chance to get that title, and instead he wanted to inflict more punishment on Torosaki. It's obviously these men are going to stop at nothing to win this. Both guys are up, and they're going at it in a fisticuffs. Oh, they both go down. You got to also think both of these men must be tired as well. But like I said, the big battle royal, that's the last one of the night. There's a cover by Torosaki, and the referee's letting them know you got to climb the ladder to win. And there's some shots by Torosaki to the flat line. Now he's going to go up. No, he's moving the ladder. So he's not ready to climb it yet. Well, he's climbing it now, but there's no way he's going to be able to grab the title from that distance. Oh, he misses that leg drop. He may have done more harm than good to himself on that behalf. Flatline is working right on that leg, too. We already have the Skater Boys, Matt Kuma, the Angel of Darkness. And Kevin Cantrell is also in the Battle Royal. And the Skater Boys, I forgot about them. And look at this. Flatline's got the chair. He's waiting for Torosaki to get up. He is not going to use this chair. And it looks like Torosaki is taking the ladder. And look at this. He throws the ladder at Flatline. Throwing that ladder, it made the chair bounce back to Flatline and hit him in the face with his chair that he was holding on to. Flatline gets out of the ring. That may be a smart thing. Take a breather if you can get away with it. The fans are watching this match intensive. This is only the second ladder match in RCW history. The very first one had the bodacious pretty boy against Dirty Deeds Darren Wise back in 1998 flatlined out there with the fans taking a breather and as you can see inside the ring Torosaki is taking a seat I guess they're taking a break Ooh, the ladder was pushed into his face And Flatline slingshots himself and stands right onto the ladder that is on the ankle. Flatline trying to get the title from the chair. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, oh! He fell off of that chair. He tried to grab the title. You're not going to be able to grab it by standing on that chair. And look at his drop kick off the chair. You can see both men are injured, they're hurting. Torosaki getting rid of the chair and he's getting ready to set up that ladder. There you see it. We could have it. Torosaki is going to climb it and he could be the very first cruiserweight champion. And look at Flatline. Drop kicks the ladder. 
Torosaki takes a fall. He came very close to winning that title. And there, Flatline gives him a kick for the good measures, and he's going to climb that ladder. And look at this. Torosaki knocks the ladder down. What's he setting up for now? He's got the ladder in the corner. Looks like he's going to take him and, yep, smashes him right into that ladder. I don't think these two are going to be able to take much more of a beating from each other. It's taking a lot out of him. And look at this backdrop onto the ladder. Torosaki is hurt. He may need an ambulance after this is over. And now Flatline's setting the chair up again. I don't know why. What's he planning on doing? He's standing on the chair. He might take a dive. Oh, he got off. No, he's going back on. What's he planning on doing? Torosaki is down. Referees checking on Torosaki. Can Torosaki get back in the ring? That's the question. Flatline's going up. He's got a hold of the title. All he has to do is take it down. It looks like it's stuck up there. All he has to do is take the title and be inside the ring. He's trying to untie the rope. He, oh, there it is. Ring the bell. And there's your winner. There you hear it. Flatline has just become the very first RCW Cruiserweight Champion. Torosaki is down, still on the outside. He's untying his shoe. He might have broken his ankle. And there you see it, Flatline, holding the title up in the air. He is the Cruiserweight Champion. For more information on Regional Championship Wrestling, like us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash regional championship wrestling and subscribe to the YouTube channel at RCW Promotions. It's Regional Championship Wrestling. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on this video.